Hi everyone, welcome again to our day session of the Jira. In this session, I will explain you about how to create a sprint inside the Jira and discuss more about this. So, if you are new to the channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin the agenda. So, we'll discuss here what is sprint in Jira, how to create a sprint, detail setup, and by mistake, if any sprint is added, how we can delete it. So. Let's move to the understanding what is sprint first. The so sprint is a short time box period when a scrum team works to complete a set amount of work. Sprints are at a big part of scrum and agile methodologies and getting sprints right will help us to agile teams shape better software with fewer headaches. With scrum, a product is built in a series of iteration called sprints that breaks down big complex projects into a bit sized pieces, said Megan Cook, Group Product Manager of Jira Software at Atlassian. Sprints makes projects more manageable, allows teams to ship high quality work faster and more frequently and gives them flexibility to adapt to change. So let's understand how we'll create it practically. Because whenever we are working with Jira, it's always required to add a sprint and inside sprint we have to add items or the functionality which we are going to cover for that duration. So in some of the organizations sprints are considered at a two week span. Uh, it means 15 days but in some of the organization it varies how the functionality is work, how we, we are going to deliver. So once you log in you are able to see projects. Inside the project, select the project list where you want to create a sprint. Uh, go to backlog. Inside the backlog, here you are able to see create sprint. Once you click on the create sprint, the pop up will appear. You have to enter the detail like, like editing the name. So let's edit this first. On selecting, Sprint. So this is fourteenth, five to twenty seventh. You can also add the sprint goals whenever it is required. What we are going to cover, which all functionality is there, you can discuss it here. Click on update; it will get updated. You can similar way you can update other sprint name as well. If you want to move sprint up and down, you can do that. For creating any sprint, just have to click on sprint. It will get created for you. Next, whatever content is available inside the backlog, you can move it to the sprint. I have already created one of the session on backlog. If you don't know about the backlog, how to create it, please watch that first. I will also include the URL in my description tab. So whenever the backlog is available, you can move the content which you are looking to build in the particular sprint. You can also create some more items like adding the functionality which we are going to cover it. Add the detail and get save and particular detail and save it. So how it looks when we are creating directly inside the sprint, you have to provide each and every detail like uh, the functionality which you are going to cover, the descriptions, if any attachments is available, you can select it from here. Uh, post that, you can click on create, it will get created for you. But as of now, I don't want to create it because of that, I clicked on cancel. If you want to uh, start uh, your uh, planning, then you can add the blank pages, meeting notes or product requirements whenever it is needed. But if you want to start your sprint, you can click on this and select the duration, start date and end date. It will get started. So for here, I am selecting for 21 and 27. Now, uh, it basically it's set up here 10 working days. So better we can select uh, 21 and click on start. The sprint will get started. And you will able to see the particular content 
in to do list because it's that once it is done you can move it to according to your preferences like in progress or done done means it's completed completed in perspective of development but it is needed to be tested and once testing is done you can move it to the acknowledgement status or completed status whenever we are working with the kanban chart so i will definitely create one more session on the kanban so you can refer it from the kanban so whenever we will uh, working with the kanban chart it is always having to do in progress and done if you want to declare the sprint is completed click on complete sprint and this particular sprint will be completed you can also do some more uh, interactive way like creating board hide menus and board settings hide epic levels so whatever you want to do you, it's up to you so by this way we are going to create a sprint and a detailed setup how will how it will looks like this you can also add these more functionality in this uh, because we have started showing the affected by these actions okay uh, now if we want to move this backlog into sprint 3 we can do that uh, for this also we need to start the uh, sprint or uh, move to this at the end if any sprint is by by mistake added uh, which is not required inside your project you can delete it on selecting three buttons here uh, three dots so once you click on delete sprint and that particular sprint will be deleted from your project so this is how we are working on sprint so we started with the details setup or the explanation about the sprint we have discussed how to create it inside the jira and how to do the detail setup at the end if it is not needed we can delete it so that's all about the sprint in jira hope you liked it if you really enjoyed this content consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching